So you can see plain as day, the results with water-based primer, one coat on this raw MDF edge is horrendous. It's not covering at all, and it's just as rough. It's about as rough as this stubble I have under here. Does not feel good at all. One coat of the Secret Primer, and it's feeling nice and smooth, and the coverage is incredible. So if you're trying to get great results painting raw MDF, or you're working on a project that's actually made out of real wood, like these cabinet doors back here, I made them out of maple and maple plywood, you're going to want to use a product made by Zinzer. It is called Bin. More specifically, it is their shellac base primer. Now, the reason why this primer works so well for raw wood applications is that it is not water-based. This is a primer that is alcohol-based and it has shellac in it. Shellac is basically like a resin that's made by a bug, the lac bug. And the beauty of it is it's not gonna raise the grain of wood. Like a water-based primer, yeah, it's supposed to be filling it in, but it also raises the grain. It really doesn't cover all that well. So those cabinet doors that I had showed earlier in the video, that's really when I came to learn that this bin zinzer is gonna be an excellent product for plywood or any kind of a wood finish. I had tested out a few different primers, and once you get that kind of raised grain or the fuzziness in the wood, it's almost, it's very, very difficult to get it out. And the thing about the Ben Zinzer is it will just fill in any of the kind of grain imperfections. If you're painting a cabinet door, you kind of want to take the grain of the wood out. The Ben Zinzer is amazing for that. And then, yeah, like anyone that's ever worked with MDF, you know what it's like to try and get a nice smooth finish on the edge. Just this stuff is incredible for that. One, one heavy coat will get the job done. Two coats is going to be ideal. If you're trying to prime the face of MDF or even the face of say hardwood or plywood, you can definitely get away with one coat here and then head straight to your top coat of a water-based paint. And then one thing that is just a huge time saver and will make your job so much nicer is if you're ever doing any finishing, where's that piece of wood? If you're ever doing any finishing, say you're using some flat stock for baseboard or you're doing that flat stock door header where you have kind of the the header piece sitting up like that. So you can cut returns on there, but because it's flat stock, you can just square cut it. And then what you do, take some 150 grit sandpaper. I always like to take a little bit of stay put spray adhesive, contact cement, spray it on the back, fold it into two, and then just, and then there you go. You know how it's kind of annoying when the sandpaper is kind of moving around if you glue it together. It actually will last longer and it's just much easier to work with. But yeah, if you're gonna do this, you're gonna put the header piece on or you're gonna have a butt end on a baseboard, for the love of God, sand the end of your base, your piece with some 150 grit. You don't have to go crazy. And then this is something that drives me absolutely insane, especially on the top of the door header. You have, you see there's a bit of a round on this molding here. Just take the sandpaper just round it over it doesn't have to be too fancy it's pretty easy to, to get a nice little round on there you ha there's nothing more homeowner hack than just leaving that square never leave that just like a sharp edge and then the secret here get some of this in the spray can and then just hit that with the spray can the stuff dries especially when it sprays it's probably drying like five minutes you can hit it with two quick coats, slap it on there, and you're not gonna be able to, like, this primed edge here is just gonna carry right around and it's gonna look beautiful. So it's not all pony rides and churros. There's one major drawback that it comes to working with the Bin Zinzer Shellac Base Primer, and that's just the cleanup. Because it's an alcohol-based primer, if you wanna clean up your brushes and rollers, you'd have to use a min-related spirits, methyl hydrate, or ammonia to get the cleanup done. That can be a real inconvenience. Water-based products are so much easier. You can just clean things up with water. Um, with this stuff here, I usually end up just using disposable brushes and rollers. During the project, I'll keep them wrapped up with saran wrap and they'll last for two or three days. And then when I'm done with them, I toss them in the garbage. And hey, if you've ever had trouble caulking, you're probably gonna wanna check this video out right over here. So it's not all souped up trucks and fancy beards. That was just the longest ramblingest bit ever. Was I even recording?